All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the July meeting of the Penridge School Board. I'd like to start by calling this meeting to order. Please join me in saluting the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Cron, would you call the roll, please? Mrs. Stanis Clements? Here. Mr. Casper? Mrs. Cullen? Mr. Krauss? Here. Mrs. Miller? Here. Mr. Agomo? Mrs. Schmidt? Here. Mrs. Yardley? Dr. Yarnell? Here. Thank you. At this point, uh, we will entertain comments and questions from guests. I saw none on the list. I see no one rushing to the podium, so we'll move on. The next item is the consent calendar. Are there any items on the consent calendar that board members would like voted on separately, either the, the specific category or individual items? No. Then uh, do I have a motion to approve the consent calendar, including items A through I? Thank you, Mr. Schmidt. And second? Sorry. Thank you. Mr. Krauss, moved and seconded to approve the consent calendar. Comments or questions from board members? Hearing and seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Uh, Next, we do not have a student liaison here tonight, so we'll skip over that. In terms of the president's report, um, I do not have anything. Oh, yes, I do have something. I'm sorry. We do have some. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Miller, we have silence. Did it just go off? Yes, it just went off. Can't solve it, I'll, I'll scream. Put a ticket up here. Probably the lightning and thunder. Yeah, I was going to say, did it? <laughs> Nothing else went off, right? No. Nope. 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 Not the computer screens. Nope. And not the lights yet. <laughs> oh, I hate to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for trying. <laughs> it's always something. All right. In terms of the president's report, first the right to know requests. Uh, we've had two additional right to know requests in July, and the total cost in attorney's fees is $948.30. At this point, the safety committee update. Do we have anything? Uh, two minor order? things. Just an update the revision of the all hazard plan is currently in the process. We're reviewing the crisis plan as well. Can you speak up, please, since we don't have microphones? Sure. The revision of the all, all hazards plan is being revised, including the crisis plan. In addition, we have updated um, by replacing all A old AEDs within the district buildings, as well as ordered four additional AEDs two for the district office and two for middle schools, so that they're on each level um, the first and second floor. Thank you. 
Uh, I have no specific report beyond that other than to say that we do have a state budget for a change, which yeah. is nice. Um, okay. That uh, kind of was as expected, I gather, or maybe a bit early, but that's certainly something that um, we have, both the expenditure and the revenue side, so that's, that's nice to know that we got both along the way. We'll now move to the committee reports. The first one is uh, the activities committee. Uh, Mrs. Mar or Yardley is not here tonight, and there was not a meeting since our last uh, scheduled school board meeting. So the next activities committee meeting is scheduled for September 14th, 2016. Then to curriculum. The curriculum committee meeting, uh, meet, the curriculum committee did meet on July 11th, 2016. We had only two items, although they were two fairly important items. One was a change in curriculum uh, geared toward the Keystone exams, and the bigger issue was the issue of the middle school scheduling. And the committee discussed the recommendation that was given by the administration basically opting for option B, which is a change from the existing schedule, but does include and keep the 11th period that seemed to be such a, an important issue for parents, students, and some teachers as well. So that was the just at that meeting. I do not have any motions tonight for that. And mm -hmm. so the next curriculum committee meeting is scheduled for September 19th, 2016. We do not intend to have one in August. Next comes facilities. That's Mrs. Schmidt. Thank you. The facilities committee met on July 13th. There are um, five motions for tonight. The first motion is obsolete items as listed um, on your agenda, letters A through K. Do we have a second to the motion for the obsolete items? Thank you, Mrs. Miller. Moved and seconded to approve the obsolescence of these items. Comments or questions from board members? Not. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Second motion is to seek bids for 12 new school bus replacements for the 2016 2017 year. Do we have a second to the a motion to seek bids for school buses? Thank you, Mr. Krauss. Moved and seconded to seek school bus replacement bids. Comments or questions from board members? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Third motion is to submit a third-party CDL test site application. Do we have a second to the third-party CDL test site? Thank you, Mrs. Banus Clements. Moved and seconded. Comments or questions from board members? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Fourth motion is to approve Breslin Ridyard Federo Architects to perform a building utilization study at a cost of $26,000 plus a maximum of $1,000 for reimbursement costs. Do we have a second to this motion? I'll second. Thank you, Mrs. Miller. Moved and seconded to approve uh, Breslin Ridyard and Federo Architects for a building utilization study. Comments or questions from board members? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Nay. Motion carries 4-1. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it does does not carry? It needs that to needs to come back. back. That, okay. that, that is an item that requires a majority of the entire board, so it needs five you. votes. I'm sorry to be a wet blanket. No, okay. well, better to do it correctly. Okay. Okay. Yes, move on. Fifth motion is a motion to amend the March 21st, 2016 awarded bid for project 23093, Siler Masonry Repairs, Pen Builders Incorporated in the amount of 168,000 to the actual bid amount of 168,900. The change is due to a typographical error in the original source document provided to the board. Do we have a second to this motion? Second. Thank you, Mrs. Miller. Moved and seconded to approve the uh, amended bid for the uh, Siler Masonry repairs. Comments or questions from board members? Mrs. Miller. I have a question, Dr. Miller. Uh, Mr. Schmidt, what was the error? What was it changed from? Do you know? It, it was approved at 160. It was a typographical error. I, I know, but Mr. Daubert had sent this to me. But what was the number that we had voted on? We approved on? 168. The actual dollar, oh, I'm the sorry. actual number is I'm the 168.9. I'm sorry. So yeah. I didn't see the nine in there. Yeah, $900 sorry. difference. Thank you. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Thank you. Any other comments or questions from board members? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Uh, the next facilities committee meeting is scheduled to meet on September 7th. 
Thank you, Mrs. Schmidt. We'll move to finance. Mr. Casper is not here tonight. He wasn't here for the, the, the finance committee meeting either, so I will take on this um, obligation. The finance committee did meet on July 13th. There were a number of motions that were discussed and are on the agenda tonight. The first of those has to do with the approval of contracts, and the contracts are listed in the agenda. Items A through double I, I believe that is. No, I'm sorry, M. So I can't read. Um, A through M. Do I have a second to that motion? Thank you. Mr. Krause, moved and seconded to approve the items uh, for contracts. Comments for questions from board members? Oh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. The second motion has to do with the student activity accounts. We're renewing the Dibler Elementary Student Council and the high school jazz band is a carryover account. And I make that as a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Mrs. Schmidt. Moved and seconded to approve student activity accounts. Comments or questions from board members? No? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Third motion is has to do with purchase orders. There are two of these. The first is for Allegheny Educational Systems, and it's a part of the program improvement budget in the amount of forty-seven thousand two hundred eight dollars and ninety-three cents. The second one is for Nearpod, also from the program improvement budget, and the amount is twenty thousand dollars. I make that in the form of a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Moved and seconded to approve these two purchase orders. Comments or questions from board members? No? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. The last motion is a motion to approve the sale of parcel number 15-32-09 from Bucks County Tax Claim Bureau for repository of unsold properties. I believe if you look at this before I make the motion, this is for a small amount of money. It's another one of these tax claims, so to speak. And we have either to approve or disapprove. I'm going to make the motion that we disapprove this as listed. Do I have a second for, for this, uh, disapproving the motion? Thank you. Comments or questions? No? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Thank you get back to the right screen. Next finance committee is scheduled for September 7th, 2016 in this room. Uh, the intermediate unit, Mrs. Miller. Thank you. Uh, we met in on June 21st and um, briefly we uh, celebrated our retirees with a reception and we also discussed of note, um, we're, um, I think le we're leasing a school, I don't have the name, the Everett School, Lisa, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Samuel Everett, thank you. And it will be an early uh, childhood center. No? That's incorrect. It's us. We are working to negotiate for the Lower Southampton Elementary School. We oh. already have it. Oh, thank you. Uh, on July 19th, we also met, and um, I'll go through it for um, the special ed part of it. Um, the IU offers extended school year services in the summer to school age students who qualify based on the severity of a student's disability or on regression of skills as measured during breaks in service with a demonstrated inability to recoup uh, the necessary skills. Uh, this summer, a total of 705 students are receiving ESY services through the IU. Of that, of that 705, 195 students are served in their home or community and the remaining 510 students are served in 75 classrooms in six different locations. Research is confirming that mindfulness promotes student wellness and is effective with students struggling with attention deficits and anxiety disorders. This past May, a workshop on how mindfulness is transforming our 21st century schools was attended by 60 Bucks County school leaders with international author Michael Carroll, Dr. Michael Bain, director of the Penn Program on Mindfulness, and Todd Cantrell, 12th grade house principal of CB West High School. A mindfulness approach allows educational leaders to develop their capacity to listen deeply and remain in the present moment to make informed decisions, handle stress, and promote instructional excellence and increase student learning. This concept can also be brought to boards. <laughs> there was a session facilitated by Joanne Parati of the IU. 
In moving forward, the Penn program for mindfulness and the IU are working in collaboration to bring Penn's internationally renowned eight-week course entitled Mindfulness-Based Stress Management to the IU located in Doylestown on September 28, 2016. Details and registration along with other, uh, I'm sorry, details and registration information along with other professional learning opportunities can be found on the BCIU, web, BCIU website. Lastly and importantly, the IU holds a Stuff the BCIU Van campaign in partnership with the United Way of Bucks County with the goal of filling the van with school supplies for families in need arising from foreclosures, unemployment, sickness, uh, evictions, homelessness, and other serious issues. In addition to the inherent back-to-school stress, these families struggle to find the resources to purchase the necessary items that they're required to bring to school. So, I have a list here, guys. You knew I would. <laughs> I'll distribute it. And so, please, I will gather everything. You know, we'll make arrangements. I'll pick it up, and I will take it and deliver it myself. So, I have a list here, and I'll pass that along to each board director. And whoever's not here, I'll make sure they get one, too. So, and it's August 22nd that we need to uh, deposit. Uh, our next meeting is scheduled for September 20th at the IU location in Doylestown, beginning at 7 p.m. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Uh, the next item is the Personnel Committee. Mr. Rigomo is also not with us tonight, so I will make the three motions that are on the agenda for the Personnel Committee. The first motion is to approve the miscellaneous employees' salary increases for the 2016-2017 school year. Do I have a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Moved and seconded. Comments or questions from board members? If not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries, 5-0. Second motion is a motion to approve the cabinet members' salaries for the 2016-2017 school year. Comments or questions from board members? I'm sorry, I need a second. Let, let, let's start there. Second. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Moved and seconded. Comments or questions from board members? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Third motion is a motion to approve the 2016-2017 salary for Dr. Jacqueline Radigan, Superintendent of Schools. I'll Do I? Second. second. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Sorry, Miller. I jumped the gun. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I forget it. You, you move ahead of it. We'll, we'll get there. We're trying to Move One way or another. <laughs> Comments or questions on this motion? Okay, if not, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. The Personnel Committee will next meet at, on September 14, 2016, in this room. Policy Committee Review Committee. Mrs. Miller? Thank you, Dr. Arnell. The next Policy Review Committee is scheduled for September 14, 2016, at this location. Thank you. And the Upper Bucks County Technical School Committee. The, thank you. The next meeting is scheduled for August 18th uh, at 7.30 p.m. at the Upper Bucks County Technical School. Thank you. Thank you. Technology, Mr. Krauss. Thank you, Dr. Yarnell. The next uh, Technology Committee meeting is scheduled for September 19th, 2016. Thank, thank you. you. Act 48, Mrs. Venus Clemens. Thank you. The next Act 48 Committee meeting is scheduled for October 6th, 2016. Thank you. Old business. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed. Okay. <laughs> I'm rushing forward without. <laughs> yes, we do. We have ad hoc fundraising committee. Mrs. Schmidt. Uh, ad hoc fundraising didn't meet. They will meet as needed. Thank you. And the Penridge Area Coordinating Committee. Mrs. Banus Clemens. Thank you. The next um, Penridge Area Coordinating. Very good. Old business. No. Then I will move to announcements. The next regular school board meeting is scheduled for August 22nd, 2016 at 7 p.m. Uh, in this room at the high school, obviously. Um, an executive session was held on July 13th, 2016 regarding labor matters and an executive session regarding labor and arbitration matters for the purpose of consulting the solicitor regarding the right to know disputes pending before the Office of Open Records will follow tonight's meeting. Let's see, and that brings us to public comment. No one has any public comment? I, 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 I'm just Spirtle. curious um, what qualifies a discussion about what is before the Office of Open Records to be conducted 
not in public in executive session. Nobody's being sued. It's not a personnel matter. Uh, how does that qualify for an executive session? Dr. Yorno, I want you to answer yes, that. Please. And please speak up. My opinion is that um, a dispute that is before the Office of Open Records and or subject to an appeal to the Court of Common Pleas is uh, the kind of dispute and or litigation that's covered by the litigation exception in the Sunshine Act. Have you gotten an opinion on that? No, that's my opinion. Oh, it's your opinion. Correct. Well, isn't that a conflict of interest since you're also our advisor on uh, right to know? No, I don't think so, and um, that's the last question I'm going to answer on that. I'd prefer the board to answer anyway. We hire a solicitor to give us an opinion. He gave us an opinion. I know, but I like to have that. He should give you the opinion, you give me the opinion. <laughs> Because you may or may cho you may choose to or not to honor his opinion, so it needs to come from the board. Well, I personally, Mrs. Spurlong, believe that not honoring the solicitor's opinion is a risky thing to do. I'm so just saying it you should either flow, change the solicitor. It or should flow the through a board member. Is my point. Yeah. I've, I've said I uh, fully agree, and that's what we hire him to do. Do you have any other questions? No. Nope. Anyone else have questions? No press members that I see, then we are adjourned. We'll see you hopefully on the 22nd of August. Thank you very much for coming.